challenges. As we all know, politics is still a male-dominated space. However, we would have made great strides in St. Kitts, but St. Kitts and Davis, but there is still so much more to be done. Women who are interested in entering elective politics, they have some concerns, and their concerns um, are, one, no limitations in place to um, provide that space for women. When we look at um, some place like um, Guyana, where they operate in a quota system, space seats are left for women. And so maybe the time is right for us to, start to look at some sort of legislation, some sort of quota system, or perhaps um, extending the boundaries so that we can have some more seats. And if we have some more seats, then we can allocate some seats that are to be um, allocated to women. Another um, challenge that we face, and I can personally speak to that, women with children. Having um, two small boys uh, and being a single parent, it is challenging. But we have to prioritize. Once we have a circle of family um, circle that could assist, then it makes it so much more easier. But that is one of the area that um, makes women so much more apprehensive in getting into um, elective politics and politics on a whole. As women, we must continue to help our sisters. We must continue to encourage our sisters and be there in you know, whatever area that they are asking and seeking for assistance and guidance. Mentoring is very important. And I'm certain, maybe I can throw this to, to the chamber as well, if there is a mentoring um, program that you have in place. So many of our young girls are out, oh, they need mentoring, they, they, they need so much persons like our oh, good persons here to look up to and to, to, to tell them, you know, how they need to carry themselves and, and really mentoring them into becoming fine young ladies. So maybe that we need um, a program like that. Um, encourage our young girls to become good women. The civil, the, the, the motto from civil is um, lifting each other, other up one woman at a time. And I would like to say congratulations to the trainees of civil. We are all celebrating our 10th anniversary this year of being civil trained. Once again, it was indeed a pleasure being here with you. And I must say thank you once again to the Honorable Prime Minister who would have asked us to share his stage and to bring some of our experiences to women and girls. Thank you.